532 still developing this morning. DC wants to convert a former college dorm into a shelter for people with no home, but it's facing pushback. This is the building they're in the process of buying the Ashton. It used to house George Washington University graduate students. If DC gets its way, it would offer housing for people with medical conditions as well as adult couples. But a neighborhood group filed a lawsuit to stop the plan. Jess Arnold has been digging into that for us. She joins us live outside of that building now on New Hampshire Avenue in Northwest DC. Jess, what's the group's biggest issue with this plan? They say that DC hasn't given neighbors enough time to give their feedback, and they also say that they haven't given their concerns that they have raised so far enough weight. Some of the concerns that they cited in this lawsuit include a potential decrease to property values, potential increase in crime and congestion. They say it's no doubt going to impact nearby businesses because there are a lot around here. But this morning, we're also hearing from a George Washington University student. I see a lot of people without homes, and honestly, it's a very hard issue to not address when it's all around you all of the time. DC is trying to address homelessness by purchasing the Aston, which used to be one of George Washington University's dorms. They want to convert it into a 190 bed shelter for people with medical conditions and mixed gender adult families and couples who don't have a home. I'm here to represent the students of the George Washington University, and there has been an overwhelmingly unanimous consent that, um, that students do want to help out, that students do want to see what's best for the community, helping people get off their feet. But not everyone is on board. The West End DC Community Association, which is just listed as a group of people with property interests in the area, filed a lawsuit to halt the sale and renovation until DC completes studies and gets more community input. In the suit, they cite concerns about an uptick in crime, more traffic congestion, and property devaluation. Their main frustration is that they say the district did not allow adequate time for community input and is not giving their concerns enough weight. There is other Ward 2 support from a neighboring advisory neighborhood commission from where the Aston is located. They approved a resolution two weeks ago. Just ask the city for more info. Now, I did look up the group that is filing the suit, and they really don't have an online presence or name any specific members in the lawsuit, so we don't really know who this is who is filing the suit. Now, if the sale of the Aston to become this shelter does go through, it would be D.C.'s first shelter that allows couples of mixed genders to stay together. Typically, they are separated when they go into that shelter process. Now, originally, they wanted to open this as a shelter in November, but right now that is when a hearing for this lawsuit is set, so we'll have to see if this ends up delaying this process. Guys. Jess Arnold reporting live. Thank you so much.